You guys silly? I'm still gonna send it. <laughs> Last time on SV Folsom, we moved north from Staniel Key, stopping along the way at Compass Key to swim with the famous Nurse Sharks. Then moved to Norman's Key to check out Pablo Escobar's cartels down C-46 plane. And finally, we anchor off Allen Key to hang out with some iguanas before heading off to NASA in the morning. Where are we at? What are we doing? We just got to NASA, anchor, had a little issue with where we anchored. We were threatened with a little bit of police action by the marina. And a guy named Peter was very uh, disgruntled, had a bad attitude. Uh, and so the cops are coming. So we, we ended up moving our anchorage about maybe what? 150, 200 feet. Yeah. Anyways, we go back, talk to them, and we're like, hey, this isn't how you're supposed to treat the cruiser community. So we're going to leave some reviews for other people coming through and not to, to go to that marina or to deal with Peter. But now we're about to go uh, pick up some groceries for our last little stretch before we get to Florida. Find some beers along the way, yeah. get a little Wi Fi, do a little, uh, you know, pre planning for the next couple of days and enjoy the night. Exactly. We're in NASA. Let's do it. So crime's supposed to be a big thing here. State Department issued a, uh, hey, you shouldn't come travel here because of all the crime. But, I mean, uh, I think we can handle them. Yeah. Stave off any potential attackers. It's about this long. Yeah. You can see Atlantis is over here. Featured in one of the James Bonds. We were there last Christmas Eve, Christmas. So at the ATM, we thought we could pull up in the U.S., but uh, not likely. We're gonna be doing Bahamian dollars tonight. All good. Uh, a little bit of cash. I mean, we're going to the states. We're gonna need it to bribe people and stuff. So it's always good to have an extra hundred to be able to throw someone. First ATM we've seen in the days. So there we go. So all kinds of weird looks and uh, beggars. On this stretch of road, this might be what the State Department was talking about. Yeah. When they said it was kind of dangerous and we might get watch shanked. Your pockets type of thing as you're walking by. We're thinking uh, the mustaches and Alan's eyes are gonna yeah. detract. Yeah. A little anyway, deterrent. A little deterrent. So, <laughs> but uh, I think we're almost to the kind of bar area. Yeah. Grab so a drink, do some grocery shopping. We'll be good. Yeah. Oh, sitting at uh, Senior Frogs. Some call it Mr. Frogs. Mr. Frogs. <laughs> Looking up uh, prices to get home to Chicago for my surgery. Typical cruise town, NASA, so. Could be worse. Could be worse things in your life, you know? Yeah, exactly. We didn't get stabbed, so that's good. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna go eat some uh, street meat here in a little bit. Some jerk, some jerk, uh, best, best in the Nassau area. Yeah, do we want to go over to Paradise Island? Yeah. We okay. just left Mr. Frogs. Mr. 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 Frogs. Mr. Frogs. It wasn't sketchy enough during the day. We wanted to figure out if uh, the State Department was correct or not at night. <laughs> Let's scoot this way. Those cars are gonna hit us. Thank you. This will be full sand on tour. Roadies. Every day, all day. We headed to Paradise Island for the night, and Alan had his phone stolen at the bar when he wasn't looking. Not feeling the greatest the next morning, and having a better weather window for the next day, we stayed one more night. It also gave us a chance to look for anything that might have been referenced in the show Black Sails as it takes place in Nassau. This story with the cure. Replace it with various sex cults yeah. which bring people's attention, safe, whether it is naive, primitive, doesn't really matter. We're moving now. Uh, going from Nassau to Chub Key, 40 miles. And there is Jack all four wins today. Well, I guess it's picking up slightly. What is it at a parent now? Uh, 7.9, but it is coming right from, we're going right into the wind, so. Got the main out trying to get a little bit of home from it. Obviously you can see it looks like a lake out here again. Tomorrow will be similar, but we got a 76 mile journey. Uh, so it should be a little interesting. at about eight, got in at five. Uh, not too bad of a sale, and by sale I mean motor. But we're gonna go in, try to get some internet, edit some video, 
catch up, check the weather for tomorrow, because we got the big sale tomorrow. Another beautiful sunset in paradise. All right, so uh, we are on our way finally from Chub Key uh, over to Bimini. It's about 84 miles. We kind of stayed in Chub Key for the last couple days just because the winds were starting to pick up and they were coming from the northwest. Uh, we needed them to come from the northeast to give us that little extra push uh, other than run on the motor uh, to make it up there. There's a lot of bombies on the way there, some low sandy shoals. Uh, so we wanted to do it all during daylight hours. It made more sense to just do it uh, and wait it out with the weather. Um, so we are finally on our way. Uh, we've got a good probably uh, 20 knot wind off our beam. We are motoring right now up until we uh, reach this little passage uh, where all the bombies are at. Uh, and then we're gonna try to put out the main. Uh, but hoping to make it to Bimini before sunset, which is at about 7.09 tonight. We still got the question of the Gulf Stream to get over to Miami. Um, so what we've seen is, or read inside of our charts is that it can either be a lion or a lamb. Uh, and that's because it's the northern flowing at about two, three knots, uh, big like river, big warm water river in the ocean. Uh, and if the wind's coming down from the north and pushing up against it, it can get extremely hazardous. Plus you've got a bunch of commercial traffic uh, and if they're going northbound, there's big barges and big tankers and stuff are cruising with the, with the current and uh, if we're not hitting it at the right angle, we could potentially crash into them with all the waves and everything. So it's, uh, it's something that we really want to make sure that we are looking at the weather for. Up there, it's up there. He that oh, there they are! Woo! Oh, oh, oh. Woo! He's coming up front. There they are. There's the crew. Whoa! Careful of the job. Ah, oh, damn, I missed that. Gotta get this gimbal. Wow! Well, they're in unison now. Oh, I think they left. Hey, they left. They shot off this way. It's still a good day at us be full set out here in the middle of the Bahamas. 12 foot of water heading to Bimini. Life could be worse. So we just uh, tried to go check out at Cat Key uh, for customs and apparently you don't even need to check out. So something that we learned with that. Everybody else told us that we needed to. Oh, so it is a private yacht club. Uh, but we went on last night, had a couple beers and some conch fritters. Uh, and they didn't really care. But then this morning, I uh, went inside of there and security's like, what are you guys doing? We're like, we're checking out. And then we hit up the market to grab some ice, a couple drinks and some snacks. We're getting kind of low on provisions, but we'll be in Miami tonight. So big thing right now is getting across the uh, Gulf Stream. Um, so it's, again, it's that 2.5 to three knot kind of current that's going through the ocean. Uh, and we are hitting it with direct easterly, so that should help us with uh, motor sailing so we can scoot across it, but hopefully uh, not too big of waves. Uh, the northerlies are the ones that are, are really bad, but it should be shifting a little bit southeasterly as well. Uh, so that'll help to keep uh, wave height down. Hopefully we'll get over there quickly. Uh, Miami Music Week's going on. We got a bunch of friends in town, so uh, yeah, let's get at it. Alan's fixing the dinghy up right now, tightening in the, uh, the D-ring. Do that, make some water real quick, and uh, we'll be on our way in a couple minutes. It's 
area. Well, leaving the Bahamas. Sayonara. It is America that way. Wow, that looks really shallow. This is where all the other cruises are at. The other side? Yeah. Maybe a broad to a run? Yeah. More like straight to a run. Alright, we are here. Out in the middle of the, uh, I don't even know if this channel has a name. I think it's, well, I think it's like the Florida or something. So it pushes us up to where we need to go, which is Miami. So we're heading a little south, so that the 2.2 2 knots, 2.5 knots that the Gulf Stream is, will push us up there. Science. So, so we're about halfway through right now. Uh, we can now see the Miami skyline, which is pretty awesome. Yeah. Uh, and also, we're starting to see all this extra, uh, Sea traffic that we've been reading about uh, on this. Got this big tanker coming up on us pretty quick at 11.5 knots. I think we got AIS to tell us where our closest, po closest point of approach is at. So, so. Probably what, about another two hours away from the Gulf Stream? Maybe a little more? Something like that, yeah. But uh, yeah, good day. Suburban sprawl, baby. Skyscrapers from, I don't even know, like, about at least 90 degrees from the tip of Miami all the way to Fort Lauderdale. There's few breaks in between. Welcome to America. Today has been quite an eventful day. As you can see, we are no longer towing our dinghy. Uh, we lost that to the Gulf Stream, amongst other things, with our engine having issues as well as losing a a step on what our happened with the engine? What happened with the engine was one of the bolts that holds it down to the actual boat was loose. It vibrated, came apart, we had to shut it in neutral. We have a 550 cord which is pretty much a string that has five strings inside of it and that's what's holding this entire boat together right now. So we're trying to go through a bridge where we actually don't even know what our height is uh, for the mass. So we're gonna take it really slow and try and go through that. But we're coming into Miami, it's beautiful. Um, weather seems to be holding up pretty nicely. We just got out of the nice big swells. Pretty protected channel here. Yeah, so we saw about four Blackhawk helicopters and maybe two of them that were, four of them were in formation, one of them was not, and then there was another one by itself. It's kind of hovering as we're about 15 to 18 miles out. Later realized after talking to Sensei who's taking flight classes that it was actually, President Trump is in town and he's at his uh, resort or something like that, so flight restrictions there. Oh, well, that's a kite up there. That's the bridge we're going underneath. If you like this video and want to see more, subscribe to our YouTube channel and help support us on Patreon. You guys silly? I'm still gonna send it.